Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. Now, uh, in the last episodes, I set up the multi-block forestry farm, and I did a couple of things wrong that I figured out uh, in between episodes. And one of the main ones is I forgot to place stone bricks underneath the dirt. So the entire farm needs some sort of, um, like, a layer. I just matched the same uh, the same type, but I believe you can do any of the the farm the whatever the blocks are. So like smooth sandstone, you can do bricks if you want, or another brick or whatever. I think you can do that for the whole farm. But uh, anyway, so it didn't form like basically the actual the square part of the multi block formed, but it didn't recognize the dirt. Um, because I did not place this underneath the dirt. Um, so I went ahead and did that. And I also added some fertilizer. Now I'm not 100% sure that it needs fertilizer. So I think I may just take it out and check to see if it actually needs it. Um, because if it doesn't, I'm probably just not going to worry about it. Um, I don't need it sped up really at this point. I may need it sped up in the future. Um, but... I don't have to worry about fertilizer then. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, I filled in the rest of the water uh, just because uh, I need some water to reach uh, the the inside bits. So I just ended up filling in the whole thing. Uh, when I expand it, I'm probably gonna place a couple water blocks uh, like here and here so I can reach the center and then maybe a couple out there. Uh, just so I can get everything. But as we can see, the stuff is growing and then it is going to harvest uh, when the gets to the, the size. So here, it should harvest that. Um, I don't know how it checks, but uh, oh, there it goes. So it just harvested it. I don't know how it checks. I don't know if it goes like here, here, here and so on and so forth. I really don't know how it's checking. But uh, the other thing I did wrong was I put the wrong type of farm in. It needs to be in orchard mode to collect from these crops. I believe the farm mode was if I just had vanilla crops, like vanilla potatoes, carrots. I think that's what the farm mode is. And I ended up just doing the intricate circuit board so I could have all four uh, portions done. So if we look at this, it's pretty simple. You can put one uh, tube in there, two, three, four. And then each of these corresponds to one of the directions. So I just ended up doing uh, orchard mode in all four. But I could have done other things. If I wanted a tree farm, I could have set up trees in this quadrant or so. I'm not entirely sure how the quadrants are. Um, I believe it kind of does like like here and over to here is one quadrant and then from there along here is like another quadrant um, but I'm not entirely sure which one is which I would have to have only one thing on there and then I can test it um, but yeah so there we go there we got our stick reads going and ironically now that I set it up I probably don't need a whole lot of sticky resin left because I need to automate silicon rubber here um, I have created it before, I just don't have it automated, but as we can see, I'm filling up on sticky resin here. Um, so yeah, I haven't quite decided what plants I want to get going. I may just um, I'm trying to get blaze reeds is the one of the reasons I had both of these set out, and I was trying to Uh, I think I was trying to cross speed with that, but if we take a look at this. I believe I have. I basically want all the the metals. Tear stocks will do because it's always good having. I was doing strawberry before. I don't know if I have strawberry yet. Uh, I don't know if I need Terror Wart. Yeah, sure, why not? Terror Wart gets rid of radiation poisoning if I need it. 
Not glow shroom. I need glow flower. Okay, that's lead. Want that one. Tine is good. Oxia. Budweed, I get redstone from, so I might as well do that. Gelinium. Now, some of these need a block underneath it as well so like we look at that this needs a manganese block this needs tungsten ore block a tungsten underneath it that'll need gold i don't know reeds is the sugar cane i don't know if i need not 100% sure I'm getting sugarcane from this. I'm pretty sure I am. Because the stick reeds give both. But I would have to test that out. I just want to see if we do get sugarcane as well. But anyway, I just wanted to point that out uh, before I kind of continued on with the rest of this episode. Oh, do I have two Aurelia? Apparently I do have two gold. I may just get rid of that. But uh, yeah, nickel back is nickel. So anyway, I'm going to set up some of these to uh, get going here and kind of want this as well, but I want a separate one. I like to have one saved. So I may actually, I don't know, I may actually like clone these just with uh, the the dual crop sticks, just so I always have a backup in case I don't get it. Actually, I don't know. I'm curious now if apparently I'm got something throwing something at me. Like, can you plant like this? I don't know if you can actually plant that. I'm curious. Like, cause if I can plant this, then I'm not gonna worry about. I need a second one. I don't think you can, but. So if we put this down, I gotta remember where all these things are. Yeah, I didn't think you could plant the leaves. Um, but anyway, let me set up the rest of this multi-block farm and then we will continue uh, for this episode. And really quickly before we move on here, I just wanted to show I have planted a bunch of my metal crops. And as we can see, I did the blocks underneath. Now you can use the ore or the block. The ore is obviously much cheaper because these are nine ingots each. So I think uh, when I eventually get the ores back, it's just I haven't like silver and lead. I would have to go to the Twilight Forest and I have just haven't done it yet. And nickel, same with nickel. Um, I just haven't done it yet, but I think I'm going to replace it with the actual ore block. Now, the reason this is aluminum ore um, is because I tried with the aluminum block and it actually didn't work. And I think it's because there's probably two. I think there's aluminum and aluminum. Like there's this one. And then there's... Uh, Maybe there isn't. I don't know. But the aluminum wasn't... Uh, it, yeah, here. The block of aluminum. Um, so I just went with the ore, and the ore actually works. So I am also doing... This one is for my tungsten. And I won't be able to get tungsten for quite a while. The actual ore block, I don't think. So I'm going to have to do nine tungsten ingots compressed down, which is super, super expensive at this time of the game. Um, but yeah, if I want that to grow, and I do want to get it just kind of going at least, so it can stockpile. Um, but as we can see, yeah, those are all my metal crops that I have so far. That's nothing too crazy impressive, but hey, it's going. And then I have terawarts, and my glow flowers I got going, terawarts, I got cotton, raspberry for my food. 
Um, stick reads, uh, I don't believe stick reads actually give reads as well. They only give sticky resin, so I actually planted the, re the reed as well. Then I have my uh, tear stalks and the red wheat. As we can see on the red wheat, it says can grow no, and that is because it's too bright out. It actually needs a light level between 5 and 10, I think. So at night it grows, during the day it doesn't. But I figured we'll just let it kind of do its thing and it'll eventually just kind of uh, accumulate. But anyway, I think it is time to move on and kind of in the same vein as the renewable crops is I kind of want to at least get some bees started. Um, most of the bees I'm planning on really getting into it is when I am have access to the Gendistry machines. And they are locked between, if we look at this, they are locked between the LUV, uh, so the assembly line. So I'm quite far off of this, but a lot of these blocks that I need, like the Alvary blocks, need... Uh, impregnated casing, that's actually, that's nuts. Uh, what I was looking for, the, so like the alvary here, needs the scented paneling, and the scented paneling needs royal jelly and pollen. And to get royal jelly, I need imperial bees, and to get pollen, I need industrial bees. So I'm going to have to do at least some bee breeding uh, to get uh, the alvary stuff to craft the gen industry, which I don't particularly like doing vanilla like forestry bee breeding because it's just very slow and uh, I'm not a huge fan of the random chance whereas the gen industry we can actually pick which ones like the the mutatron and stuff but I think these are really really gated um where's the mutatron yeah they're here, the Mutatron. So this is like Osmium and ZPM. The Mutatron is gated behind, and the advanced one is probably even... Yeah. I mean, that is crazy. Like, I need Neutronium combs to get the advanced Mutatron. Like, by that point, do I even need it? Kind of thing. And that says a 0% drop chance. So, anyway. Um, we'll see. Uh, how that we kind of like get to that point. Um, but to start out with, I'm going to need some just regular bees. So let's go ahead and I got some bee houses here. I can't even craft the apiaries and I can't remember if I, I feel like I got some with, um, like quest rewards. I can't remember actually, but there is a whole quest thing for bees. And I think there's actually two, isn't there? Maybe not. So it just starts with, oh, bee breeding isn't up. Isn't there like a Maybe I need to do something in forestry. Uh, let me take a quick look here and see how I can open up I thought I actually had it open. All right, apparently I have YouTube blindness because right underneath bee breeding is how to be. <laughs> I knew I'd seen it before. I thought there was two. So this is the very first one. So the first thing we need to do is get a scoop. The Greg Tech scoop apparently has one. Um, wonder what's which one I should do. I don't think I need something super fancy here. Let's just do iron. Um, I don't know. Let's just do 10 of those. So I just need I guess I could probably just shift click that in. Let's see if that works. Oh, that's not gonna work because yeah wire cutter and soft hammer regular hammer mm 
and wool. All right, so there is our scoop. Hopefully, yeah, that counts. And we do get some honeycombs, and we get the uh, loot bag. So I'm definitely going to, I think I'm definitely going to open these up. Let me put some of this away. And we get uh, coins, which I can buy bees with. So that is really helpful as well. So let's see. This got sugar and string. Whoopee. All right. So there is the first quest. In the next one, we need to find a princess and a drone. Let's go ahead and sleep here. Now, basically, let me throw this on and get ready to go out into all the, the slimes. I really got to set up that turret. <laughs> so as I'm already getting attacked and all sorts of stuff. Look at the damage all the Endermen have done to the land around here. Alright, so basically we're just gonna get attacked by an Infernal Mob. And basically just run around until we see a beehive. Now each biome has its own different one. So like a meadow is in a plains or a marshy is in like wetlands and stuff. So let me run around and see if we can find one. Now they do glow as well. So actually at night it is much easier to find them. Um, but obviously with the infernal mobs, <laughs> makes it a little more annoying. All right, after quite a bit of running around, they're not very plentiful. And I haven't even found a forest one. And I think it's because of the real world generation. This is a hot plane, so... Um, it's just not... And there's not a whole lot spawning. So I might need to find a better biome. I mean, I'm not, my house isn't in the best biomes. Um, but here is another one. So basically you just left click, break it, and then you get the princess and the drones. And I actually got a pristine princess there, so that's really good. All right, so we finish that. Again, hopefully this gives us something cool <laughs> and it would appear it didn't but anyway let me run around and see which ones I can get into I basically want a forestry bro uh forestry and not a forestry a forest and a meadow drone because those are kind of like the basics oh there's a or a node and I am back and got quite a few here. There is some pristines in here, which is pretty good. I got, there was a Rocky Princess sitting right on the top. Um, and Rocky Princesses are always pristine, so that's good. Um, so we got quite a few things. The Deciduous Forest has meadows and forest. The... Uh, I forget which one it was. I think it was down here. I was getting tropical. So it looks like the river hot is tropical. And uh, I got some modest in this uh, this one. The plains hot, I think it is. Which isn't unsurprising. Anyway, moving on. We need to craft some untreated frames. Which is oak, wood, string, and sticks. I wonder if spruce planks work. Let's try for the quest. I do have some oak if needed, but uh, I'm out of spruce again. Uh, lathe gets me sticks. 
All right, it did work. I was I figured it would with the slab wood, but sometimes it doesn't work. We'll do three of these. They do not stack, which is a bit of a pain, but anyway. Keep hoping for some decent rewards from these bee bags, but not getting it yet. All right, next one is craft the bee house. Now the bee house, you do need the untreated frames with the wood casing and a couple of combs, but I already have, well, might as well craft some more um, because you can't use these frames in these bee houses. So the wooden casing, ooh, that's a bit annoying. Wooden frame, some molten iron. Man, 32, that is, that's two ingots or two nuggets. Can I do that? No. That is such a weird amount. Well, I guess it is it's the screw amount, isn't it? Let's uh I guess let's just get some screws in wooden frames or just sticks, right? Yeah, the four sticks. Alright, so those actually let's do it. I don't need to do those. Let's grab a bunch of iron screws, might as well. Wish there was a screw mold. Like, there isn't, is there? No, I don't see one. That'd be nice if there was, though. And the uh, sticks. All right, so. Let's see how these are crafted again. Wood encasing. Right here, I was confused where they went. Man, I need more of these. Do I just throw this in a cutting machine? I can never remember. Yeah, cutting machine gets me planks. Although I can just use a saw, it would probably be faster and easier. Well, that's pretty fast, actually. <laughs> so that's, and then, is that not gonna shift click in? Oh, that was weird. Is that weird? It, like lagged or something. Oh, I can only do, oh well. You need two frames per, that was a bit, did it ask me to get two? Anyway. Yeah, I wanted three untreated flames, but you need two. Anyway, so I have one left over for that. All right, so next, impregnated frames. Yeah, I need creosote and stuff. I don't have a lot of creosote left. So we do have tropical bees. And that gets me the apiary suit. Fortunately, they're both ignoble. Hmm. 
Yeah, the various clothes. Every bee has multiple is mandatory to keep track of those probabilities. You can use you'll need to use paper to analyze each bee. Interesting. So that's kind of like the Bealizer. Um, but before we kind of get into that, let's go ahead and throw some of these bees down, I think. Now I'm gonna start out with forestry and yeah, forestry and Forest and meadow, not forestry. I keep saying that. So let's go ahead and so we'll do that. I want to do a mix here, so I don't. I want to always keep one, just in case I need it. Question is, do I want to keep a pristine or I usually like to keep the pristine so I have stuff I can all right so that that's what I'll do in the three all right because I want to do exactly what that question said breed some common bees now one of the issues here that I have is my biome that I'm in is considered hot so a lot of these bees are not going to actually work in the biome that i'm in the modest bees will and anything that likes hot arid biomes but um these forestry and the other ones won't now i also need some flowers here i just remembered i think i've turned those all into I may have turned those all into dyes. There might be some over there. I really need to get flight. I know the nano suit has like nano wings or something. Oh, I see flower right over there. All right, and they also don't fly at night. You can actually breed them to fly at night, but or now they won't. There we go. Sleep really quick. And now I need to get into the deciduous forest biome because that's like a temperate biome. So I think it's, no, the brown. This brown is bog, I think, yeah. So here we go. This is deciduous forest. Now I'm probably gonna kind of clear out an area, make it a little more accessible to my base. Maybe actually. Well, we start like right here. And we basically just plop down these bee houses. And there's no room for the frames in the bee house, but basically all you do is put meadows bee in. And if you combine it with the meadows drone, you'll get just a clone of the meadows, but I want to combine meadows and forest to get a common. So those will breed up, it'll turn into a queen, and then it'll start producing combs. And once it ends up going through its life cycle, it'll produce a princess and possibly a, a mutation in a common drone. Now, as we can see, no flowers is an issue. So if we plop down two dandelions, Come on, dandelion should work, there we go. And as we can see the little particles, the bees are flying out. The 
this takes time to, to find it. It looks like it did. All right. So there we go. Now these last, I think it's like 10 minutes or something like that. It's quite a long time. So this is one of the issues people have with Breeze is it just takes a long time. And I can actually speed this up using world accelerators, which I may look into, but unfortunately I have a hard time getting power over here. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. Um, and they take eight amps. So like if I wanted an HV, that's eight amps of HV. So that's a lot of power. Um, the easiest one is the small one that requires one amp of HV. And they're actually not too difficult to make. They're just a bunch of components. All right. So as we can see, it's ticking down quite slowly, but eventually they will produce honeycombs and we will um, hopefully get common bees. Now I'm not gonna do a lot of the bee stuff while recording, I think. I'll probably just maybe do a up, quick update in the beginning to see which bees I got. Um, but there is a whole thing in the Moron's Guide to Better Breeding, or Breeding Better Bees. Um, so it's pretty good reading. I have already read it, so I'm just gonna do that. Are a couple basic bees that have good stats. So Rocky is a really good one. They have cave dwelling and nocturnal. So if they have the nocturnal stat, they will work at night. Water will be rain tolerant. So if it's raining, they'll keep going. And wintry has high fertility. That's good to know. I didn't realize the wintry had. Usually I go for, I think, majestic. Um, we'll close that. And... Basically, the first thing we need is common princess and a common drone. So hopefully, uh, we'll get that. Now, the quests, I think it said they need purebred. You can't have, like, half and half, but we'll kind of get more into that. Um, maybe the next episode, uh, we'll kind of get into the stats and stuff of all the bees once I uh, can do this. I think the field, the field kit may actually show that. I'm not sure if it will, but um, I will craft that up and we'll see. Um, but yeah. And I will also impregnate the frames. Uh, we can't quite use these frames yet uh, because we don't have apiaries. Now apiaries are an upgraded version of the bee house. But I need seed oil for that, and we need some parched combs, and we need impregnated frames for that as well. So there's quite a few things I need to kind of get going here. Um, I need to probably, I feel like I'm going to have to set up my railcraft thing again to get uh, creosotes. Um, so I'll look into that. And seed oil is another thing um, I'm going to need, which um, is one of the reasons I want to get my forestry farm going. And hopefully I will get some crops that I can get a good amount of seed oil from. Because every seed you can extract. So like pumpkin gets 10 liters. Uh, rape seed gives 125. So I'm kind of hoping to get uh, the rape uh, crop, rape seeds, which is actually another name for canola. Um, so that is a good one. I want to kind of get going. Um, so I'm trying to breed that with my crops. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, next episode, uh, we will continue a little bit more bees. And hopefully I have some ideas that I want to do in the base. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.